All right, go ahead. Okay, today I'm gonna to show you a tutorial on how to make your eighth grade pillowcases. A few examples over here, um, selection of fabric, you could do something along the lines of a holiday theme or your favorite sport, or maybe just something that matches your bedroom. I'm gonna be using car fabric today because it happens to go along with my son's bedroom. And so what I have is my three inch piece of trim, my nine inch uh, end piece, that's like a end casing, and my 27 inch body piece, main body piece. So with looking at our directions, I'm gonna walk you through this. Step one has us ironing all the pieces um, and the main piece is just iron so it's nice and smooth, that's all. And then we'll be folding the three inch and the nine inch piece hot dog style. So I will demonstrate that with the main body piece. We're just quickly trying to make sure that we don't have any big creases in our fabric. When we're not using the iron, we wanna make sure that we have it on a secure surface. take my main body piece and just fold it neatly and set it aside. With our nine inch piece, we are gonna open it up all the way and fold it, as I said, hot dog style. With my fabric, I definitely have right sides, which would be my color side, what I eventually want showing, and a wrong side, which is basically the inside of the fabric. I'm gonna fold it right sides out when I fold it hot dog style, I'm just gonna make sure that I line up at one end and across the top. And then I'm gonna take my iron, make sure that I stay lined up and press it so I get a nice crease. You can use your steam button to give it a little extra heat. Just be careful that the fabric that you iron might be very warm. Okay. I'm gonna fold my nine inch piece so it stays nice and neat and just set it aside. And now with my three inch accent strip, I'm gonna do basically the exact same thing. Fold it hot dog style, this one's a little more difficult to keep in place. So I'm gonna start at one end, get a certain amount of it lined up, and then I'm gonna bring my iron over and iron a section. And then I'm just gonna line it up as I go. When you're ironing, you wanna make sure that your iron is constantly moving, not sitting still on your fabric. Otherwise, it can burn it. If you don't line up exactly, like I see there's a little differentiation in the fabric here, that's okay. As long as it's small, it should not matter. It should be taken into our seam as we're sewing. So that was step one on our directions. Step two has us laying things out. So I'm gonna bring my fabrics and my directions over to the table. And step two says lay nine inch border flat, unfolded with right sides up. So I'm gonna open this up and my wrong side is gonna be facing down on the table, my right side's up. And it says rough edges away from you. Rough edges are on either side though. So at this point, I just have my nine inch. Step three says lay 27 inch body flat with right side up, lining up with the nine inch piece. Opening. 
So now I'm, I'm lining it up just as I did with folding it on the ironing board. I'm gonna line up on one side and across the top. So I'm very, here it lap, it's overlapping a little bit, but that's just because my fabric is slightly off. That's not much though, we can deal with that. So it's pretty well lined up. Our step four says lay three inch accent strip folded right side up. So the folded raw edge, which is the part when we folded it together, those raw edges are what met up here. We're gonna take that and we're gonna line that up just the same. So I'm gonna start on the same side as I lined up with everything else and line up across the top. And now I'm gonna put some pins into my fabric to hold things in place. So these, the yellow quilting pins, we're gonna go down through all the layers of the fabric and back up through to hold it secure. My fabrics don't line up exactly, they're slightly off. That's okay, we can trim that a little bit later. Now what I'm gonna do, my directions tell me to roll the body of the pillowcase up like a thin tube. So I'm gonna take my fabric and fold it not quite in half, but fold it up a little bit so it's more manageable. And then I'm going to try to roll it evenly. As I roll it up, you'll see where your nine inch trim piece hangs out a little. We don't wanna roll that with it. We want it to hang out down there. So it's just the main body piece that I'm rolling up right now. Then, my directions in step six say, bring other edge of nine inch strip up to the line, rough edges, you know, so I'm lining up my rough edges and I'll pinning all the layers together. So again, I'm gonna line up and across the top. And then what I'm gonna do is go hold those fabrics together, all the layers, Pull my first pin out and just add in the last layer. At this point, when you get to this point, you would have, bring it over to me for a teacher check and make sure that you don't sew anything until you've looked at it and made sure that all five layers of fabric are lined up here and I have checked it. If I've checked it and I told you it looks sufficient, you are then gonna take it over to your machine and do the next step, which is step seven, sew along the pinned edge with a 5 8 inch seam. Line up with yellow tape and backstitch beginning and end. I'm gonna come around and answer for the sewing. Okay. My machine's already threaded. And here, the bulk of this is gonna be in your lap for a moment. So you may need to reposition a few times to keep yourself comfortable and not poke yourself with that. Okay, at the beginning, we're lining up. So our fabrics are lined up with the yellow tape on our machine, which is the 5 8 inch seam. And when we begin, we're gonna go a few stitches, back stitch, and I'm pulling my pins out as I go along.
Remember to pull your thread long so you don't have to re-thread it. At this point, before you turn it, like your directions tell you in step eight, you're going to check to be sure that all five layers are caught up in your seam all the way down. So we can open it up and see that we have the nine inch, the body piece, the two pieces of blue, and then again, my green trim. So I have five layers here. I'm gonna go down and check it in the middle, about three quarters of the way down, and at the end. And mine looks very good. So the next thing you would do is turn your fabric. So you turn, for me, the nine inch piece is my green, and you can use two people to do this, it's a little more efficient, but um, somebody's gonna pull the roll out, the other person is turning back that nine inch casing. And this is the moment of truth. If your seam was not all five layers cut into it, then you would have a hole that is very difficult to fix. So at this point, we should look something like this. So it's starting to look more like a pillowcase. Now we're gonna go over to our machine and we are going to sew down the little three inch blue accent strip. So what I'm looking to do here is keep the main piece of my fabric on the left side of my machine and I'm gonna sew down the, as close as I can to the edge of the three inch strip. My thread that I've chosen is blue, so it matches what I have. If you have thread that does not match, you could ask me for one or, you know, your neighbor. Okay, so again, when we, oh, my thread's not under there. When we begin, we're gonna backstitch. And keeping our fabric nice. And basically what I'm doing is ironing the blue or the green away from the blue so that seam is as exposed as it should be. Okay, back over to our direction. <coughs> Okay, so at this point I have to straighten everything up. And if you look, you can see where my fabrics are not exactly even. So what I'm gonna do is take the main piece of my body and fold it so that I can still see where they differ in length and also you know, that my body is lined up with itself, meaning that I'm straight. I'm gonna lay it down. And here, I think a yardstick and a pencil would be very handy, so I'll be right back. I have a pencil right here. Thank you. No problem. All right, so with my yardstick, what I'm gonna do is try to make as straight of a line as I can, and go, I'm lining up with my shortest fabric, which in my case is the blue one. I'm just going to make a line there. You could also use Taylor's chalk for this. So Taylor's chalk, Taylor's chalk for this. So Taylor's chalk, regular chalk, or a pencil. Ah. Okay, now we've made our line and I just need to cut it. Okay. So, 
step nine has us with wrong sides together and good sides facing out, folding our pillowcase so it actually looks like a pillowcase. And we're gonna line up the sides and the bottom as best we can. So I'm gonna lay it down again. Here, when you're smoothing your fabric, it might feel like it doesn't line up exactly right. All right, so we're pretty well lined up. On the bottom, it's a little off, so I'll probably trim that. I'm going to take my pins and starting at the top of the side. So I'm gonna pin down the side and across the bottom being like an L. Again, every Show me your pillowcase that you've lined it up and pinned it in place and I would check okay that looks good I would look on both sides make sure that you're fairly well lined up and you would go over to your machine and sew just the same side that's pinned again starting at the top and back stitching when you begin and when you end this time we're lining up with oh I'm sorry this time we're lining up with the edge of the presser foot so your fabric is going to stay lined up with the edge of the presser foot very important and as I get close I'm going to take those pins out Now I'm going to go over to the ironing board and it says to press pulling seams out along the edges or the side and the bottom. So I'm going to come over here and what I mean by pull your seams out is to kind of what I usually do is go in with my hand first push them out and then I kind of lay it flat and I wanna make sure that I pull that seam out as much as I can so that it doesn't kind of suck back in. If you just go over and iron it, it'll kind of curl in and that's not the desired effect. So I line mine up. I
Okay. At this point, you would bring it over to me, show it to me, and now we're gonna go back to our machine and the same side we sewed last time, across the bottom and down the side, the L, we're gonna sew that again. And this is where our French seam is visible, or invisible, in other words. So this time, we are lining up with the yellow tape. So the first time we went around the L was lined up with the presser foot. The second time, when it's inside out, we're lining up with the edge of the yellow tape. As we begin, back stitch, keeping that fabric nice and We are done. So I'm going to turn it inside out to show you what it should look like. We're going to trim any loose threads we have hanging around. Be careful not to cut your project. And then we have our finished pillowcase. Now you can grade your rubric and hand it in. Enjoy.